Hi guys, Legends World 101 here. This time, bringing you a Wonder Woman 1984 trailer review. So I'm just going to talk about the trailer because I've already seen it. And if you go on my channel as well, because I basically I did it live. I just recorded everything, um, the whole ceremony. <coughs> Saw the trailer, loved the colours, the visuals are on point. I haven't got like the visuals. Sexy. Oh, Patty Jenkins. <gasps> Oh my gosh, she looks, she looks gorgeous, she looks beautiful. Oh, Patty Jenkins is just, you know what? She's hot than one, she's hot than gal. Uh, okay, I said it, I said it, she's hot than gal. Gal Badal, yo, hey, Patty Jenkins all day, every day. But um, aside from all that, um, the colors are right, the score was nice. Um, so what else? Cast. He's a, basically the same cast. Got Pedro Pascal, my boy from Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, he's gonna be a great addition to this cast. Maxwell Lord, yo, the tech man, the tech giant, looks like he's gonna be in this movie. Um, I don't know too much about Maxwell Lord. Um, but it seems it seems like similar to the character like an Iron Man, where he was just just annoying the heck out of people, just trying to get power. It looked like. She's gonna be a good character regardless. He's a great, he's a great actor, so I got no problems with him. Uh, Kristen Wiig, that's gonna be the X factor in this movie. That's gonna be the massive X factor in this movie, yo, Kristen Wiig. Uh she's a good actress. To be fair, she is. She is a good actor. Um, I've seen other stuff. People go back to that Ghostbusters 2016. Uh, that's in the past. I think she's 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 better than that. To be fair, she's way better than that. Um. So that's the bad taste of pace in people's mouths, but I think she'll do well in this role. She can go dark. I don't know for a fact. She can go dark. Um, people sleep on comedians doing dark roles. People sleep on them. But um, I think Patty Jenkins will steer her well in this cheater role. I just want to see Kristen Wiig put hands on Gal Gadot, yo. I just want to see Kristen Wiig put hands on Wonder Woman, yo. Cheater has to put hands on Wonder Woman in this movie. She needs to get this, get this work. She needs to get beat up in this movie. Let her overcome come back and just basically overcome Chia at some point, like she should. Because <clears throat> for too long, Wonder Woman's been getting away with murder, yo, I'm gonna lie, she's been getting away with murder, Patty Jenkins has been letting her off the hook in that first movie, she let off the hook. Aries, this, apparently it was Aries, I don't know, if she was the real Aries or what. She was, he was just talking her, to her, talking her to death, that's what he was doing, he was like, well, you believe in this truth, throw something, and now you seem to think, or something else. Like, that's the whole time he was just throwing stuff at her. That's what he was doing in the whole movie, the end, end sequence. That kind of let me down, the end sequence of the first movie. Um, still a good movie, but Patty Jenkins could have done way better in that last action sequence there, last sequence of the of the, um, the end sequence of the movie. Um, don't get twisted. I like Patty Jenkins. Patty Jenkins. She's amazing. But you could tell she was just easing her way into the action stuff. So now she's touched on that in the first movie, she, I think she can do a very good job in this second movie now. She needs to put in that action work in this movie. Gal Gadot has to put in work, yo. She has to put in, she has got some hand to hand combat in this movie. She's got she's got she's ex military. Come on, let's let's get this work, yo. Israeli military, let's go. You know what I'm saying? You call some of that, that knowledge that you have. The action of fighting combat. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's like if I was like it's like if I was um, a martial artist and I was in a fighting movie and was, like it's a superior or, like, or someone who's gonna fight people, you know what I'm saying? Fight crime. I don't use none of my action, none of my real life abilities, makes no sense. So Kagodo has to be putting in hands and putting in work in this match against Cheetah. I don't know where else is gonna be in the movie, but against Cheetah, she has to be putting in work. Hand to hand combat, let's go. Let's go. I think people are ready now for Wonder Woman to be putting in work or get worked on in the movie at this point. This is part two. Let's up the stakes. Let's up the ante. Come on, let's do it. Come on, Patty Jenkins, I believe. And if Wonder Woman 1984, yo, if she starts putting in that work in this movie, and the action sequences are on point, as a, I know they will if Patty Jenkins believes in the action sequences that she can do, pull off. I'll go on my hands and knees, yo, and I'll praise Patty Jenkins, yo. From here on out, I'll be like, praise be to Patty. Let's go, I'll be like, hail Patty Jenkins, yo. You know what I'm saying? I'll do it. I'll do that. You heard me say it here first. If I see Wonder Woman 984 
and the hand-to-hand combat scenes are on point, and Wonder Woman's getting putting in work, I'll do it. I'll do it, yo. I come on this channel, on my channel, and praise Patty Jenkins. I dedicate a stream just to Patty Jenkins. I dedicate a stream, yo. I dedicate a video just to Patty Jenkins. I'll do it. So I just want to know what you guys thought about this um, this trailer. I loved it. Um, great trailer. <clears throat> the power, though. I didn't feel enough power coming from Wonder Woman, though. I didn't feel it. Not like the first movie, the first movie trailer. I, I felt the power. This this kind of took a back seat. And more 80s vibe took over the, the trailer. It's more of an 80s feel. Um, kind of bubble gum, you know what I'm saying? Good time. I say it felt like it was a good time trailer. I say it felt like um, not really much going on. Um, I know she's hiding a lot. I know that for a fact, Patty Jenkins is hiding a lot in this movie, in this trailer. So I commend her for that. So I just been waiting for the movie, man. I, don't, I, don't, I actually don't want to see any more. I don't want to see any more trailers, to be fair. I don't want to see it. I just want to go into that movie cold. Going to that movie cold form, but I just need to feel more power in the in this first trailer. Like she she get the gold armor, she just goes pow. I want to feel the Aquaman effect. I want to feel that Aquaman. When she got that old armor, it's like Shh, the power. I just wanted to feel. I didn't feel it. Um, it felt basic. I said felt her power felt basic, and her running wasn't really on point. Um, like she was floating, which wasn't really. Hitting the ground like you felt the ground was moving when she was running, like you felt the power. <laughs> Boom. A Superman did that. Like you felt him running. <laughs> He's gone. A like Superman, you feel the Superman power. <laughs> That's what I wanted to feel from Wonder Woman. I didn't feel that kind of power coming, emitting from, oozing from Wonder Woman. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, feel, I didn't feel that. But it still felt like a good, solid superhero movie. So I got faith. I'm just going to wait until it comes out. And go see, and hopefully Pat Jenkins has done it again. So I still like Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman one. Don't get me wrong; just that last sequence wasn't the greatest. So Wonder Woman two, hopefully, up certainly put in that work. Come on, Patty, make Wonder Woman put in that work. Her Chia are gonna be basically make or break this film. Her versus Chia, Kristen Wiig. Let's go. Kristen Wiig got nice in this a trailer as well. Oh my gosh, she looked stunning. Kristen Wiig. Woo, she can rock a dress, though, that's for sure. Rick Kristen Wiig, whoa, tight dress. But yeah, <laughs> I'm done talking about um, this Wonder Woman 1994 trailer. Loved it. What a graded trailer, what a graded, I'd say, hi, 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 B plus. A graded trailer, B plus. The first woman tra- Wonder Woman movie trailer was an A. A plus straight away, A plus. Couldn't be a base one of B, B plus, B plus. Um... But um, I'm setting low expectations for this movie from the first because the first movie was really good. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna set my bar low this movie, and then when it, oh, when it, when Patty Jenkins raises the stakes, yo, it's gonna be an A movie, yo, A plus. Got a feeling this movie's gonna be an A plus, yo. Got a feeling. And if we do the 80s, I have faith in the 80s. I have faith in the 80s. I have it. 80s has never failed me yet. The 80s has never failed me yet, yo. Come on. It's the 80s, kid myself. So, remember to follow me in the free main places. You can find your boy, Legends World 101, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Remember to thumbs this video up, share the video, subscribe to the channel, become a legacy, and press the notification bell. When the next video drops, you're going to know about it. Hey, everyone big up Patty Jenkins, you know what I'm saying? And the Wonder Woman movie. Everyone just get, get this movie out there. Get Patty Jenkins' name out there. She's doing amazing work, putting DC back on the map, putting them on... Female heroes back on the map. Hey, love it, man. Love it. Hey, it's Legend Ball 101 signing off. Peace.